Hi, my name is Aiden Stevens, and I'll be performing a poem I wrote. When I was 13, I wrote a poem. A poem shared with my city. I stood at a podium as tall as my body and spoke words written with hope through open eyes that could see the brokenness. And she said, there's a dream that we share that causes us to hope because there is still more work to be done. While people march through the streets and throw up their hands and say, hands up, don't shoot. Where we can make a change about police brutality by saying, I can't breathe, because black lives matter and that is a fact. When I was 15, I wrote a poem. Sitting with my friend, wanting to use our voices to call out to our white peers to see if they would understand. We stood on a stage and pointed out our privilege. And she said, dear fellow white people, we are stuck in a liberal bubble saying because we're open-minded, the world around us is perfect. No racism or bigotry here. Social problems don't affect us. Wrong. <laughs> Open your eyes. That same year, a teacher I respected laughed as he threw up his hands and said, hands up, don't shoot. That same year, a teacher clothed himself in black gloves and a mask of a black man's face to dress up as his favorite basketball player. What he thought was an appropriate costume struck fear into the hearts of vulnerable students. Now, almost 20, I try to write a poem once again. After a summer where I lost my voice chanting, heard sirens over and over in the night, and watched my city get covered in tear gas, flash bombs, and rubber bullets. My tone may have shifted from the child who first wrote, because I understand that the bodies that lie in the street don't stop from piling up, and that on every day of my 20 years of life, someone has lost their life because of a uniform, badge, and gun. And that my body, lacking in melanin, continues to uphold the systems that cause these deaths. So with this mind that is hopeful, eyes that are open, heart that is weary. I must use my whole being to never stop fighting for change that must happen today. Thank you.